out a lot of the jungle some weeds. You were getting across some weeds. This app now helps us to really map where these animals are and if they're in trouble we can get the authorities to come and help us and it, and it gives me a great opportunity to show the tourists exactly where they are and, and when you're on foot it's actually sometimes more difficult to find some of the animals because they spread out far and wide. With our scientists, they can collaborate all this, all this data and work out exactly how our populations are doing. And, and this is actually a continuous census of our animals in this country, as opposed to the KWS doing one every three, four years to see how the population is doing. This will be a continuous, continuous census and, and we will know how well our animals are performing. We want also to encourage the general public to participate in conserving mammals. And one of the basic ways they can actually do that is whenever they see mammal anywhere, they submit a record. That way is one of the most important way of them even participating in conserving mammals. This information can also be used in future if we want to predict where animals will be in future because we will look at the type of habitat where they are at the moment and maybe we'll ask ourselves 50 years to come from now what will have happened to their habitat and their numbers Kenya or the application works like this. It is free online. You go to Google uh, Play Store, you download it using your, ad, your Android phone or the iPhone, and then once you do that, you, you register your details in the, in, in, the, in the application, and after that, you are ready, you are ready to go to the to, to record mammals. So you go out, whenever you can see mammals inside, inside protected areas or even outside, you just go to the application, a very common Kenyan bird species, but um, all over Kenya. So it's a very Kenya mammal atlas, can be very
It will also include uh, recording the, the breeding um, condition. Specifically, if you see um, an endangered species and you see that it has young ones, that is quite encouraging because we know that that species is actually will, will survive in, in the environment. Number two, again, it will be a game changer because it will also capture the habitat type where that species is found. If the habitat is in good condition, then we know that the, the endangered species will survive in that particular habitat in, in long run. Which is found in Kenya. Some of them, they are very beautiful. Each application can be very useful to also capture the distribution state.